Hello and welcome to another circuit having a current source and we're going to solve this circuit using Kirchhoff's law. The particulars of the circuit is given in figure 1 and we are asked to calculate E2. Now, as can be seen, figure 1 has a current source. The current source is, is given here as A I1 equal to 3 amps. We are given a resistor R1 at 600 ohms with a voltage drop of 80 volts. We are given R2 at 150 ohms and we are given R3 at 300 ohms and we asked to calculate E2. Okay, so we know in the circuit that the voltage drop across resistor R1 equal to 600 ohm is given by 80 volts. That is 80 volts, that is R1, 600 ohm. Thus, using Ohm's law, I equals to V over R1, the current flowing through R1 can be calculated. The current flowing through R1 is chosen as I2. There is I2 in the circuit above. I2 is equal to 80 volts divided by 600 ohms. This I2 is equal to 0.13 amps. Now, Kirchhoff's current law, KCL, states as follows. The total current or charge entering a junction or node is exactly equal to the charge leaving the node, as it has no other place to go except to leave, as no other charge is lost within the node. Using Kirchhoff's current law and the currents chosen as indicated in the circuit, it can be said I3 plus I2 is equal to I1. There is I1 and I1 is equal to I2 plus I3. So we can say I3 is equal to I1 minus I2. I2 is, was calculated at 0 0.13 amp. And I1 is given at 3 amp. Therefore, I3 is 3 amp minus 0 0.13 amp. And that is equal to 2.87 amp. I3, as we have said, I3 is equal to 2.87 amp. Kirchhoff's voltage law, KVL, states as follows. In any closed loop network, the total voltage across the loop is equal to the sum of all the voltage drops within the same loop. Using Kirchhoff's voltage law, it can be said that... So, okay, um, we want to calculate E2, and E2 is equal to I3 times R2 plus... I1 times R3. If we write it down, E2 is equal to I3 times R2 plus I1 times R3. And I3, we calculated at 2,87 amps times R2, which is 150 ohms, plus 3 amps, that is I1, times R3, 300 ohms. And that is equal to 431 volts plus 900 volts is equal to 1,331 volts. Therefore, E2 is equal to 1,331 volts. E1, on the other hand, is 80 volts. We were given that 80 volts. Minus um, I3, because, because of the convention that we've chosen times R2, there's I3, it flows in, in this direction, plus E2. So if we write it down, it's E1 equals to 80 volt minus I3 times R2 plus E2, and that is equal to 80 volt minus I3 multiply 150 the ohms, R2 is 150 ohms, plus E2, we calculated the 1,331 volts, 
that is equal to 80 volts minus 2,83 amps times 150 ohms. In fact, we actually calculated it over here already. Plus 1,331 volts. It's, it's 80 volts minus 431 volts plus 1,331 volts is equal to 980 volts. Therefore, E1 is equal to 980 volts. What we will do next is to implement the circuit in LT spice and check if it is correct. We have this, the same circuit here uh, that we built in, uh, uh, or rather that we had. We built the same circuit here in LT spice. Um, let me just hide this. Uh, yeah, V1 is E1, that is 980 volts. V2 is E2, which is 1331 volts. The resistor values are the same R1, 600 ohm, R2, 150 ohm, R3, 300 ohms. And then we have this current source with I1, we, we set at um, 3 amps. We, we work working backwards because we're um, adding these voltage sources. Now we're going to see if we get the right, correct values that we were initially given. So let's measure the voltage across R1. And we see that is uh, 79 point one nine 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 seven volts which compares favorably with the 80 volts that we were given now let's check the current in 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 r1 there we are 132 milliamps which compares well with our calculation of 0 0.13 amps and now let's check the current in r2 There we are. It's 2,868 amps, which compared favorably with our calculation of 2,87 amps. So it seems that our calculations are correct. Uh, the LT SPICE simulation uh, corresponds with our values. We have come to the end of this electric circuit video. Give this video a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. All the links are in the description below. If you have a question, put it in the comments below. Thank you for watching and goodbye.